Hi Taurus, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in the area of love for the week of December 7th to December 13th. December 7th to December 13th, 2020. Let's see what awaits for you in love between you and whoever it is that you're connecting to um, or whoever it is that you're interested in. Um, in the area of love um, this reading is going to be for you so I'm just shuffling the deck here I'm going to randomly pick some cards I'm trying to I'm trying to focus my my energy and my intuition there's a lot of distractions around me there's a lot of noises um, my neighbors are talking pretty loudly and there's um, I can hear a lawnmower, so yeah, things are not cooperating today, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this reading anyway, because um, it's what I'm feeling at the moment. I'm sorry for the loud noise. Okay, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. First card for Taurus is... We have the Page of Cups, Taurus, Page of Cups. So somebody is going to be communicating with you here. Um, this represents um, expression of love, an expression of love. So somebody is going to be communicating to you how much they care about you and um, their feelings for you. Um, somebody might be inviting you to share time with them or to go out with them. Yeah, a lot of uh, deep emotion in that card. So someone really has deep feelings for you and um, they really want to communicate these feelings to you. Um, it's like they want to convince you um, of how much they care about you. Okay, let's see another message. What other card here we have for Taurus? We have here the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, so <laughs> I feel like this is your energy here, <laughs> and if you see the card here, the way this woman is positioned here, um, yeah, she's a person who's hard to convince, so maybe that's why I just said, um, you know, I feel like this person is trying to convince you, um, they're expressing how much they care about you, but I feel like they're doing it very intensely, like they're trying to convince you. And so I feel like this kind of confirms what I was just saying. This Queen of Wands, she's very hard to convince. She's very hard to persuade. And I feel like this is your energy here. Um, yeah, and I feel like you are moved. You're moved by this person, by... um. This person's expression of love towards you but yeah I'm not sure if you're convinced you know like I was saying I, I feel like you're you're feeling like it's not enough you know like it's just not quite enough like you appreciate it and um, it you're flattered but um, it's like you're not convinced you know you're a very like confident strong person um this can be male or female and um i feel like this person is kind of uh inferior here like they're not they're not quite at your level i feel like at your level of confidence and um intelligence and the way you're se you're so secure in in who you are um and you're very grounded within your own self and i feel like this person is more more weaker than you in terms of like they're more sensitive more emotional um they don't have their life all together like you have it so i do feel kind of an inferior energy in that in that way here and it's like you're listening to this person but like i said you're not quite convinced and you're not quite sure that you want to um really give this person a chance so let's see what other message here I get for Taurus. 
December 7th to December 13th. What's going on in the area of love for Taurus? December 7th to December 13th, 2020. We have here the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands. So there is disagreements here. There is conflict. Um, this is a card of, of people not agreeing with each other. Of not having the same mentality. Which is what I feel is going on with, between you two. That's why I was saying I feel like you're in a different level than they are. And you two, it's like hard for you to communicate. Because it's like you don't share the same ideas or the same mentality the same desires um the same the you don't share the same way of of feeling or the same way of viewing things the same perspective it's like a lot of differences between you two and i feel like it's reflecting with this five of wands in in in, in terms of you just disagreeing with each other and um, there's an energy of conflict where you two might be arguing with each other or, um, you know, having very intense conversations with each other that are not very positive, um, that are kind of like argumentative. Um, so, yeah, that's what I see there. What other message we have for Taurus in terms of their love life? December 7th to December 13th, 2020. What other messages for Taurus? What's going to be happening with Taurus and this person? We have the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is, again, on. it's also an energy of conflict. Um, kind of the same way as the Five of Wands is an energy of conflict. So I feel like this is... Um, I feel like both of you are attacking each other. It's like you're attacking them and they're attacking you. Um, um, a lot of accusations being thrown to each other. You're accusing them, they're accusing you. And like I said, the same thing. It's like you two are in different mindsets and in different mentalities. And you're not agreeing with each other. You're not... You're not finding a common ground with this person and you're not um you're you're not having um success in in creating um a stable connection between you two um it's like um there's always some challenge between you two there's always some obstacle um and like i said it's in terms of of that it's just that you are You're in a different path. You're going on a different path than they are. Um, and they have, they still have a lot to learn and there's, they still have a lot to, um, um, they have a lot of space to grow and to be more mature because I feel like this is their energy. They're still not quite, um, you know, they're not very mature, I feel. Not like you are. You're a very mature person. So they have a lot. Um, they have a lot to learn and a lot left to to grow and to be more mature. And so I feel like the conflict is always going to continue between you two um, for this reason. It's never you two are never going to really find a common ground because you're just not. In, in the same level of age, maybe this person might be um, younger than you. For some of you, it's a lot long, a lot younger than you. So um, I feel like you've experienced more than they have. Um, and so yeah, that's where the the disconnect is between you two. So let me see one final message here. Final message for Taurus. What is the outcome here between Taurus and whoever they're dealing with in love for this week? We have here the moon. The moon. So this is a card of kind of um, of secrets, of, um, of things being hidden, 
Um, so I feel like with this card, it's like you two are, are going to be like strangers to each other. That's kind of what I'm feeling like. Um, like they're, they're, they don't quite have you figured out and you don't have them figured out either. It's like you two are strangers. In reality, you two are strangers. You, you have, um, a lot left to, a lot left to, to get to know each other. There's a lot that you don't know about them and a lot that they don't know about you, especially in terms of their, their inner being, you know, um, I feel like this person has a lot of conflict, a lot of internal conflict, and you don't really quite understand where this comes from. Um, so it's like you two are just, again, you're not in the same vibration. And so even, even if you two are together in a relationship, it's like you two are strangers, like strangers living under the same roof type of energy. So, um, I do feel like distance between you two, the moon can be, um, a card of separation and of distance. Um, so yeah, that's what I see, Taurus. Um, I hope this reading resonated with someone. I hope it was helpful in some way. If it was, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Taurus.